In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a clone command on Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So what you want to do is go to the build or structure that you want to clone, and then you want to go to one of the corners. Now, you need to find the lowest point of the build at that corner. So this is the lowest point here, and you want to break the block of where the lowest point would be and stand at it so that you can write down these coordinates. So write the coordinates that you're currently standing on in a bit of paper or on a Word document, or just memorize them if you can. And then you want to type those into the Minecraft chat. Now, if you want the Windows 10, version you can just hit tab to be able to get the coordinates you're looking at so you want to type slash clone and then write in the coordinates you just wrote down a bit of paper or wherever you wrote them or if you're on windows 10 you can be facing or looking at the block and then you can just hit tab twice for each of the coordinates for a total of six times and it will fill on each of the three coordinates for you so there you go and then press whichever button it is to send a message into your chat you then want to go to the opposite corner and you want to do the same thing so you want to break the block at the opposite corner at the highest point and stand here right on the coordinates on a bit of paper on a document somewhere and then you want to paste those into the chat as well so you want to hit the button to go to your last previously sent message and then you can type in those coordinates or again if you're on windows 10 you can use a tab function on your keyboard and then you can just tab to get the coordinates there and then what you want to do is find where you want to paste this in so i've just put all the coordinates in the chat and now I need to find out where I want to actually paste this. It always pastes on the northwest corner and it always pastes southeast of you so bear that in mind when you're doing this. Now I'm going to go and get this block here and I'm just going to build out so that I know I'm definitely in the right direction and I want to make sure that I'm far enough away from that one to where I won't ruin it so I'm going to break all of these blocks here as these were just placeholders. And then I'm going to go to here. Now, what you want to do is break down into this level here and write down the coordinates of where you are currently standing. And then you want to go to your last previously sent message and you want to go ahead and write in those coordinates there as well. So I'm on Windows 10, so I'm going to go block up and look at it. But for you, if you're on a different platform, you'll want to go ahead and just go down a block and write down the coordinates and then write those into the chat as well after the last coordinates you just wrote. And if you press the button to send a message into your chat, as you can see it will paste in and now we have two of these buildings here and they are right beside each other so they're they're like in the same level if that makes sense as you can see they're next to each other with a gap in the middle because that's what I wanted to do but that's very important that you make sure that they are going to be near each other if you want them to because if I just randomly pasted it somewhere then it wouldn't necessarily be in line so be careful make sure that you do know which one is a north west corner because that's where it's going to paste in from and then I would recommend you definitely build from that to wherever you want to paste it so that you know it's going to be in line if you want it to be now that's the basic slash clone command however there are a lot of other advanced functions you can use it to stack up buildings so originally I only built one floor of this building and then I stacked it up using the clone command I cloned it on top of each other instead of having to build them both and there's also a lot of advanced functions which I'm not going to get into in this video but if you want me to do another video covering the advanced functions of the clone command all the different parameters and options do let me know in the comment section down below and it's something I might do in the future thank you very much for watching and goodbye